Phase 3 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe has introduced a slew of comic book characters. While the Marvel Cinematic Universe continues to expand with the addition of new characters in the fourth phase and beyond, a few great heroes and villains remain unadapted. Phase 3 of the MCU established a larger-than-ever shared universe of superheroes. However, as thrilling as Phase 3 was, fans are already looking forward to what's next. Much of the post-Avengers Endgame work has been kept under wraps, but Phase 4 has been unveiled, and it includes the return of fan favorites like Thor and Doctor Strange, as well as the introduction of an entirely new cast of heroes. But who are the strongest of them all? The following is a list of the most powerful new heroes that will join the MCU in Phase 4. Whew, we are excited! What are you waiting for? Get stuck with us till the end. Let's get started. Kate Bishop Although Hawkeye is not everyone's favorite member of the Avengers, even those who couldn't care less about Clint Barton are delighted about Kate Bishop's inclusion in the MCU. Kate is a young girl who works with Clint in the comics, honing her archery abilities and eventually assuming the title of Hawkeye. The forthcoming Hawkeye series appears to follow a similar narrative, with Kate being groomed as a successor. As with Clint, Kate's heroic abilities are mostly limited to her proficiency with the bow and arrow. Despite her lack of strength, she contributes significantly to the squad. Adam Warlock Will Poulter, who starred in Maze Runner and Black Mirror Bandersnatch, spoke up about his new role as Adam Warlock in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 after his casting announcement last month. Poulter went on to state that he believes, I'm ecstatic to have been accepted into the Marvel family. Everyone I've met there has been fantastic, and I'm extremely pleased to be part of a series like Guardians, which I consider to be one of the most creative and distinctive in the industry. While Poulter remains tight-lipped about his character and narrative elements for the future comic book chapter, Adam Warlock will undoubtedly play a key part as Phase 4 progresses. Adam Warlock, who was supposed to have a greater part in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, was instead presented in a post credit scene when Aisha reveals the ideal sovereign creation to aid in the Guardians' destruction. Fans began to speculate about who will portray the exciting new addition in Volume 3 before director James Gunn finally shared the big news on social media. Sentry Sentry is the best friend of Mr. Fantastic, the leader of the Fantastic Four, and a role model for Peter Parker. He also encouraged the Hulk to utilize his talents for good reasons and made the mutant angel abandon his fear of heights so he might fly over the heavens. Sentry may be omnipotent, possessing immense physical strength, telepathic talents, and being practically invulnerable, in addition to aiding significant figures in Marvel history. So why isn't there a lot of buzz about Sentry? Because he's wiped himself from the collective memory of the cosmos. The hero originally appeared in the Thousand miniseries The Century, created by Paul Jenkins and Jay Lee, with uncredited creative help from Rick Veach. Robert Bob Reynolds' sad narrative relates the story of the universe's most powerful force of good, who must lose his own identity to keep everyone safe. Because the Sentry is merely half of a tremendous creature, the evil void becomes stronger when Sentry utilizes his abilities. So, in one of Marvel's finest miniseries ever, Sentry chooses to wipe himself from history in order to defeat the Void. It wouldn't be difficult to adapt Sentry's plot now that the MC is dealing with parallel realms, different histories, and chaos magic. The coolest part about Sentry is that he could be a member of the MCU while simultaneously providing a standalone story that is more concerned with outstanding writing than future episodes. As the MCU expands its storylines and genres, we may hope that an Avenger as powerful and unique as Sentry will still be given his due. Echo While the two Hawkeyes will face multiple enemies on Disney+, Plus, there will be at least one more hero battling with them in the shape of Echo, aka Maya Lopez. Throughout Marvel Comics, the character has had a tumultuous past, first aligning with her father figure, Wilson Fisk, before joining the Avengers. Her abilities are similar to Taskmaster's in that she has the capacity to imitate any motion or combat style she witnesses. Maya will be the MCU's second deaf hero following Makari from Eternals, and will be joined by her father, William, in Hawkeye. The Native American hero's father was murdered by Wilson Fisk in the comics, and strangely enough, it was his dying request that his killer raise his daughter in his absence. Although Wilson Fisk is unlikely to appear in Hawkeye, the MCU has a habit of murdering off its hero's parents, so don't anticipate Zayn McLaren's William Lopez to live to see the conclusion of the series. Kamala Khan 
Although the new Miss Marvel has only been around for a short period of time, particularly in comparison to the more established Marvel superheroes, her influence has been spectacular. Widely regarded with ushering in a new age of superhero comics geared at young female readers, Kamala Khan has also garnered considerable attention for portraying a Muslim American who defies many of the established stereotypes for iconic comic book heroines. Given Miss Marvel's rapid rise to fame, there's no question Marvel is exploring methods to profit on the character's broad appeal. With a Captain Marvel film in development, it's quite probable that Kamala will play a role in the tale, laying the groundwork for the introduction of another superhero who, like Spider-Man, must deal with curfews, secret identities, and homework in addition to saving the world. Moon Knight Moon Knight is a fan favorite who is making his MCU debut in his own Disney Plus series. Mark Spector was the mercenary who was killed in Egypt while on a mission and was resurrected by the Egyptian moon god. He returned to New York City and became a crime fighter, but suffers from multiple personality disorder. Moon Knight is sometimes referred to as Marvel's Batman, and the two characters share a great deal in common. Despite being resurrected by a deity, Moon Knight often lacks abilities. He remains formidable, though, as a skillful combatant armed with an array of high-tech equipment. She-Hulk Another Disney Plus series will feature She-Hulk. Jennifer Walters is Bruce Banner's cousin, and her true name is Jennifer. Bruce gives her some of his blood when she needs a blood transfusion to save her life, and it gives her Hulk abilities. She-Hulk resembles a tamer version of the Incredible Hulk. She doesn't grow to great proportions, and she doesn't become enraged. She does, however, turn green and becomes incredibly powerful. Though she lacks the strength of Banner's Hulk, she is capable of causing significant harm when she so desires. Miss America With the return of Sorcerer Supreme and the study of the universe, and the possibility of a live-action Spider-Verse, the sequel to 2016's Doctor Strange might be the most fascinating movie on the Phase 4 schedule. Wanda Maximoff will accompany Strange, but she will not be the only hero by Benedict Cumberbatch's side. America Chavez, aka Miss America, will join the MCU from another realm. Chavez is a super-powered character that first appeared in comic books in 2011 and hails from the utopian parallel, a place beyond time. Since then, she's used her alter persona to battle crime all around the cosmos, joining the Young Avengers and the Ultimates in the process. While the opening of the multiverse is a significant thing for the MCU heroes, this is just another day in the life of Miss America, who can easily travel between worlds due to her incredible strength and ability to fly. Shotel Gomez, best known for her part in The Babysitter's Club, will play the character in the MCU. And because she comes from another reality, this might be the franchise's time to break away from the primary continuity moving into Phase 5 and beyond. Thor Jane Foster Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman, is without a doubt the most shocking returning character in Phase 4 of the MCU. Jane was last seen in Thor The Dark World, although she was always a tacked-on character due to her implausible relationship with Thor. Jane, on the other hand, will return in Thor Love and Thunder, and, as in the comics, will obtain the power of Thor. Thor is one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, having gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos on multiple occasions. With such abilities, we can expect Jane to be just as strong, and we can only assume she will put them to good use.